What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be bagging a Tesla Model 3 um, performance package. We're gonna be doing the Airlift 3P system with the air strut. So we're gonna be running the lines, getting it all done today. They already started doing like the minor preparations to uh, get that ready and polishing up the tank a little bit and all that stuff. So we got everything, so we're just gonna pull up there get the management and struts all installed see how it lays out when it's done all right so here we are we're gonna place the trunk or the tank here the management under with the uh airlines and power going that way um so i'm gonna disassemble this uh real quick so we have space to work all right so i think i got all the bolts needed to get it out is these two under the hooks under the mat is those two and then under this cover that was here this two one there i don't believe there's any more so let's see if that comes out so we got Chris, master man here. What's up? He's gonna be doing the struts. So now we just gotta find uh, where we can run the remote wire and the uh, control wire through the firewall of the car. We're gonna tap into the 12 volt battery for power. And we got stages here. Carbon, suspension de aire, la espada le va a hacer todo lo electrónico. Metiéndole cabrón, un bellaco, un bellaco. Sí, sí, sí. Look at this lip. What's the name of that? Uh, I don't even know, my nigga. Like, I don't know. Borsteiner? Borsteiner. Borsteiner. You can do a preset that every time. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, like uh, with a wheel gap and then a like, slam all the way down. Where'd you go? You got everybody at? Did it work? Oh shit, yeah. uh, what about? Look at that. Yo, so we got the wires ran to the inside through the grommet there. Tap into this wire over here. So we're gonna see if it gives it power when uh, the car is turned on. So there we go, we got it uh, just mocked up wired. We're gonna make sure that it works when he um, gets in the driver's seat and applies the brake on it. You ready? Are you ready? Stand back. Boo, Let's see. you suck. Get a minute, get a minute. You ready? This has power, I think, I'm pretty sure. And the thing is, now we're not gonna know if it, if it's on when it's off off so we got power to it so we just got to see if it turns off when the car turns off i don't know if i'm gonna be able to fully close it all right let me put the trim back yeah you know i didn't i didn't put it in correctly I, that's what it was so the car takes like 30 minutes to turn off. Shit is so annoying. That ass. Not 30 minutes, but. Look right here, right here. Oh, my bad. I'm just seeing it. Yeah, but it's not going to be able to do it. There we go. So we got power, so we're good to go. Just got to find wherever to put that and. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Literally completely stock looking. And then here is where the remote is. There we go. What are you doing here, Stages? No, nigga, we talk English here now. I need it with your accent. Then I'm gonna make fun of me. Ah, mira. So we basically like fitting the how you call this the false the, false floor. Yeah. So for the air compressor and the air tank, that way we got everything situated before we start making holes and fucking shit up over here. Let's find it. So we just we just gonna screw it from the bottom. I mean from here to the bottom. Yeah. Fine. Okay. And then we're gonna put 
So you kind of see what we did here. We just opened the slit to get the harness and the compressor wires. Then <laughs> everything is tucked in the back. I'll show how we hit everything um, when we take this back out. So we did for power. We tapped in straight to the 12 volt system here. Uh, like you saw earlier, we had the wires for the compressor and the manifold here. Went through there and then here, see everything looks completely normal. And then the airlift remote right there. So that would only turn on once the car is um, powered on. That's just nuts, okay. Yo, put the front wheel on. Look at that. Beautiful. Talk about fitment. Lower the jack. Look at that. So we're running the airline from the rears through the side and under the carpet. We're gonna put it through the same grommet where we did the remote and USB wire. So the same thing as basically any other car at this point uh, when it comes to air hose. The fronts are super easy. They literally go straight to the front. So the rears, we're bringing both to the right-hand side of the car so we can pass both on one side. So you see stages over there. So this is how we put the harness. Uh, we tied everything here. I feel like I recorded this. I don't remember. And then we'll keep the straight to the battery way. with the 30 amp fuse we're putting there and then we're gonna... Oh yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Probably run the front air hose through there and there. I don't know if that actually goes to the strut tower, but then it'll be all done. Soft, like the Genesis, there, like, or like the Audi. That's it, it's, it's laying the, the tire. It's maxed out? Yeah. Is it split on the floor? You go? Nah, you're good. The side split, the side. It looks like it's almost. Now you get it. Yeah, you good. Air it out. Check this out. Share it out. Back is aired out. So clean aired out. Yeah. Perfect. Boy, that's always nasty. Shit. 
This side, I like, I like, I like the color of these wheels on this side. Like the silver. How does it look on that side? Crazy? It's talking crazy. Yeah, it looks crazy. Oh, yeah. Oof. Nobody picked up on the chat. <laughs> Look at this. Niggas is knocked. It's just fucking nuts, bro. This this splitter. Bro, remember you saw the whole Model S this, Model S that? Look at that fucking car, dude. Model S is fucking ugly, man. Ooh. Yeah, I fuck with this house. Now there's already, uh, there's another one. All right, so now we are calibrating it. Sponsored by Falcon and Rotiform. <laughs> and Universal Studios. And Universal Studios. This is like what's over there. The you just have to read the coil, but not, not, not we. You have to read the coil. <laughs> you, sir. You right there. You're going to get it in line one, but you're going to wait to get the tires. Yeah. The tires will probably come tomorrow. I'll get it done Thursday. I won't be here Friday. Yeah, I won't be here Friday. We're going with you. It's like 30 of us. Like 15. This is, this is 50 PSI. I'll be, I'll be That's 50. You're aired out, my boy. That's 75. Is it, is it calibrated still? Or is it yes, calibrated? calibrated already. He just did it. That's what he did. That's, that's 75 all around. That's 75 all the way around. Head be on the floor still. What's your mic set to? Three seven two. Well, we have, we have to make a moment now. Cause usually with these you ride like. Well, I put the tank at two hundred. Cause I feel like. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We do forty five to sixty five. Yeah. Cause I'm fucking. Look at this. It pops. It looks like G37 wheels when it's when it's low like this. I fell in love with this fucking So we finished the Tesla. Uh, I forgot to outro the video with the car, but you'll you know on the video you'll be able to see exactly how it looks when it's completely aired out and all that stuff. But um, we completely finished it. We completely finished it. And um, all that we're missing to do to it, we gotta raise the front struts because even when it's completely maxed out, it's at a, it's at a decent height when it's completely maxed out, but you don't wanna be driving at, you know, at a maxed out struck. It's gonna be super, super stiff. So you just gotta adjust that and then tidy up the front. Uh, make it a bit cleaner setup, but it's completely done bags are done all the hard part is done Just gotta finish up the wheel setup on it and it'll be good to go